Okay guys, this is Viking Life here. I'm going to go over my build for Zagara. It's only a quick match. It's not a Hero League, but this is how I play her in Hero League. And uh, she's one of the best characters on Tomb of the Spider Queen, in my, in my opinion. Because if she can hold down mid lane, it completely wrecks the enemy team. Nobody can push on Zagara. I don't care who you are. Even if you have two people in lane. You box them out with your uh, hunter killer, and then you back off. We start with a uh, reconstitution, increased health regeneration on creep. It's just a quick match. I know Zeratol is just sitting there to uh, get an early gank, which is good. I mean, first blood isn't that effective as it is in other MOBAs, like in League of Legends or Smite. So I'm going to start putting down my uh, Creeperino. I'm going to get vision on the turning points and we're just gonna poke there's no reason to blast your Q your E until later when you get a little bit more mana just take it easy man that's what this game's all about take it easy do your job farm your lane that's it I'm going to keep, as soon as Hunter Killer comes, I'm going to keep spamming on the enemy that I'm facing. It's going to force them to back off. They picked the wrong guy to go mid against a cigar, too. <laughs> I'm going to keep uh, throwing, I want to get more vision over here. When they come in and turn in. So I'm gonna let these guys do some work while I'm doing that. I have a hunter killer on them. We're just gonna continue to farm. I'm not really too worried. I mean, if, unless I get two man gank, which would be kind of harsh right now. I am pushed up a little bit too far. Yes. We're going to get uh, Envenom Spines. Had to back back in the minions. Continuing to farm. Took a tower, unnecessary tower shot, but life's still good.
probably could have finished it. I didn't think she's gonna try and stay, but she did. Well, we got our first map objective, which is huge. I don't know what this Murden's even doing. That down, I'm trying to get this regen orb. Spread some creep again, so I guess I need to get out. It's always helpful. And without even trying, like I'm pushing these objectives, and it's huge. Combo on the first fortress. Spread some creep. Now we're going to get an uh, endless creep. It's going to give us huge vision. Turn in our 15. Down here and try and get a. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Tyrande, or well, I like to call her Tyronda. A nice uh, little. Owl. Okay, we need to go first trip to the fountain. Still doing great. Not worried about anything right now. Life is good. Life is really good. Continuing to farm. Currently ranked twenty three in Hero League. And I like to pick Zagara on maps like this. And I missed my mom. Great. Let me get this fortress though. We're gonna pay for it though. We paid for it. It was worth though. We got our second turn in, which is even bigger than the first. If we get two in a row, it's a really big detriment to the enemy team. Looks like we're running out of creep, so we're gonna go up there. That's the one thing a lot of Zagaras don't do, is spread creep throughout the game. They start out spreading it, but they don't continue to get vision and make sure they're uh, doing their, their job. The vision's a huge thing in this game too, especially in this map, because you wanna know who's turning in so you can make sure they can't turn in. Put more uh, back line. We got him in the maw. Time it right. We could 
use the mana. Now we're going to go into, uh, you can choose between Mutalisk or Groove Spines on this map. It's a throw up for me, it depends on the enemy team. But uh, I'm going to go Mutalisk. Because of the walls. Try and go back to farming, playing it, playing it easy. Keeping it real. Throw a hunter killer down on uh, the main. Run in here, grab these gems real quick. And yeah, she's dead. Didn't have a chance to push. I'm, I'm looking at bottom right now, and they have a. Uh, a little bit of overwhel overwhelming presence. Xeratol definitely needs to leave. Throw a hunter killer down on that. Got her. Knock me back. You can play Zagara very. I, I I don't know the term, but like I, I guess it would be snipey. You just keep uh, poking and you just snipe down the people. I don't know what that Lily was doing. Turn on my 13 gems. And we're going to continue to soak. Get this lane soaked up. They obviously aren't soaking. Rainer does not want this right now. I'm gonna get the hold two charges because it's really good for uh, picking off those uh, carries. She might be able to snipe him. Defense. Bottom tower over here is kind of running out of ammo. But we're still doing good. Life's good. Get vision up here. Get some deep vision. Okay, and we're gonna go over here and spread some more creep. Keep spreading the wealth. Get that vision going. Cigar is one of my mains. I really like playing her. Like now you want a, a little trick to get the towers from not shooting your your uh, Q is to throw on your E first.
she poke away. It's all about conserving mana. A lot of people play Zagara and they just blow through their mana so quick and it really doesn't help them. Now we're gonna do try and get the max amount of damage down on this keep. Because we wanna get those catapults pushing. Looks like we're gonna get those. Do a quick hunter killer down on Sylvanas, let him know I'm there. Now you can choose between Tyrant Maw or uh, Bolt of the Storm. Depending on the team, if they have an Illidan, I'll go Bolt of the Storm. If not, I'll go Tyrant Maw. Don't need to take this down, but it's just whatever, I'm just wasting time. I'm just being the really annoying Zagar that keeps pushing. Okay, we might be able to pop in here. Kind of out of position here. Got him. That's not good. We got him. Ooh. Got him. Let's see, my health is just going up. Not fast, but it's it's enough to keep me keep me going. That's one th reason why you got to really know how to play Nazivo. If you trap yourself, you're done, son. And uh, I'll probably do a Nazebo video after this. I guess we got that Sylvanas in here. Wow, these guys are pretty bad. You know, yeah, it'll be good choice to go for the boss. Keep putting, uh, Creep down in here. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Now we do. What is it? 39. Oh wow, he jumped. Let's continue. This is Evo's out of position so bad. This Lily is out of position so bad. Wow, that's got out of position pretty bad. Put some more creep down in here.
We got him. Tassadar and I will have enough gems to turn in. There we go. These big spiders hitting out with that big wave. Okay, we're kind of overextended a little bit. Down on him, and got this Nazebo. And I think we can get got him. Okay, cool. So we're doing pretty like this is pretty much a win. I'm not even gonna lie. game. No, we're probably going to go down actually. Ten or ten gems, we can go hit up a fountain actually, pretty good. Going all stealth like. While they're pushing up mid, I'm gonna go in for the win. Got him. And so that's uh, how I play Zagara. I mean, there are different. I've seen some different versions, but. To me, this is the most effective. You can just, if you're one on one in lane, you poke out with your hunter killer. And it's not even an issue. It's really not even, no matter who you're against. I've never had a problem against anybody. Except a roaming Illidan can be an issue. That is a big issue. So, as long as, and a Zeratol. Zeratol and Illidan are very hard roamers if you're going to play Zagara because she has her escape on creep. But if you push too far, you're going to get smacked by like an ETC, and then you're going to get Illidan to death. And also, Zeratul is not too hard to play against if you are experienced and you can know, and you can actually see Zeratul when he's being Zeratul, you know? Like, so when he's invisible, as long as you keep aware that in the back of your mind, that, like, okay, he's always, he, he's probably around me right now. I'm overextended. I should probably back off. As long as you keep that mindset, you'll be very successful with Zagara. There's nobody in lane that I've seen that I cannot beat. And you just Hunter Killer and Auto Attack. There's no reason to waste your mana unless you're going to take a tower that you know don't blow all your mana and then get ganked by the enemy team. So hey, this is Viking Life uh, signing out. This is my first video on Heroes of the Storm. And uh, thank you for watching. Peace.